Well, BBC reporter Laura Trevelyan, whose ancestors kept slaves in Grenada, says her family hopes to set an example by handing over £100,000 in reparations to their descendants. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, a panel studying reparations has proposed a $5 million payment to every black resident of the city to compensate them for historic harm. Well, that proposal is being discussed publicly today. Is this a sensible way of writing historic evils, or is it actually just sowing more division? Well, joining me in the studio is Talk TV contributor Esther Crack, who wrote a very uh, striking article for the Daily Mail about this today, alongside columnist and author Matthew Said and Talk TV contributor Paul Arone. Adrian, well, welcome to all of you. Esther, uh, I loved your piece today. Thank you. Uh, because, it, to me, this is all a bit ridiculous. The idea that somehow it's going to make any tangible difference to start doshing out hundreds of thousands, millions of pounds, dollars around the world to people who had descendants involved in slavery, yeah. I think is... I think it's woke virtue signaling gone nuts. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's an obsession with white liberals to publicly spit, spit shine their halos. Um, but the irony is, you know, the money that her family received um, in compensation of getting rid of their slaves was about, in today's money, three million pounds. Mm. So actually, a hundred thousand pounds is not really scratch, it's not even 10% of what they received. That's the first point. Mm. And also, once you start going down that route, there's so many ways you can sort of skin this cat. So if you have a, a mixed race person with a, a black father who was a uh, descendant of slaves and a white mother who was a descendant, descendant of slavers, who pays reparations? Does mm. that mixed race person have to pay? I mean, there's so many ways to... to, to and in the to... case of that BBC journalist, her family were also responsible for pretty ugly behaviour yeah. in Ireland, yes, for exactly. example. What happens there? Well, there's been... She you said know. nothing about that. Right, and I saw people on Twitter say, who are Jewish say, well, what happens to us then? Yeah. Right, so in other words, once you start the, the concept... I'm bring in Matthew. Once you start this concept of reparations for historic ills, where does it end and who do you include and who do you leave out? I think that's just the truth of the matter. Where do we stop? Is it only black people who've experienced it? Well, then we have to go to black people who have also done the same things to other nations and other races. Where do we stop and where do we start from? But as I keep saying, a lot of black people want to play the victim Olympics and they're the only ones who are victims and have experienced racism and oppression when they're not the only race. Where do we stop and which race do we stop and start from? That, that's the problem. I have no problem with an individual deciding they want to give their money to reparations or any other charitable yeah. cause of, of mm -hmm. their wish. The, the problem comes when the state decides to use public money, that will be hugely divisive. It may sound good to some people, particularly on the left, on the progressive left. Even when it was state-condoned discrimination? Even then. Because that's for, what we're for, talking for, about when we talk about state. But, but, but for, the the one, for, the that. for the following reason, once you start, spec as, as you, I think, rightly pointed out, once you start specifying the criteria under which the money is given out, it will create huge controversy and division. And, of course, it raises other questions. In the same way that racism has. Well, I, I speak as somebody who's mixed race. Mm. Uh, my father was born in India. My mother is Welsh. The question I've got for you, I'm, I'm, you're in favour of reparations, is as a country that was colonised, should I, as, a, as an ancestor well, of somebody... Let him ask the question. We'll discuss get, it now. <laughs> would, in, your, in your analysis, should I be the beneficiary of reparations as somebody whose father grew up in the British Empire? Right. I don't know, because I haven't been able to analyse your specific oh, scenario. Really? So I couldn't possibly answer that question so now. So now she has to analyse someone's specific scenario, but in her case, all black people should just receive reparation. Why don't you analyse everyone's specific scenarios, right? Have that right but what I that. can add to this discussion. What I can specify. add to this discussion. Yeah, be specific then. So, so my father was born in Hyderabad, the south of India. Mm. He moved to Pakistan after partition. Property was effectively confiscated, and then came to Britain to study law. Mm. Uh, I'm his son. I may have been wealthier had uh, that not happened. Okay. So I can give you more details. So do, do but do, you not do, is think there, is that there a the case? Opportunity should be there for that land to be returned to your family. I think... In you... the same way that we had the Marshall so Plan... the starting um, point, uh, 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 in the same well, way I... that we've had the Marshall Plan, in the same way that the slave owners 
were paid for the loss of their slaves. What about the people and that were only just, of the only just the British government has only just finished paying that debt off um, in 2015. In the same way the that the American the government took responsibility right. and, and, and made reparations to the Native Americans. Paula, how is it in going? The same way how is it going to help? To right. Japanese who were interned during okay. World War II. But but you can say okay, okay. But this is what we're talking about. There are very well, I've not asked poignant, a question yet. poignant examples right. of where reparations was right and which you wouldn't deny were right. How can it be right for a place like San Francisco to, to even have the concept of giving millions out to all the residents who happen to be black? How can that make any difference? How can that improve racial equality in that city? It can't. It can only have the opposite effect. It can racism, only bring in deep so resentment if I, if, if I and unrest, the, right? If I answer the question... What they're doing is they're discussing it in the okay. same way that we are now. What they are doing is they are looking at the stats. And in America, what we understand is that uh, white people are 10 times uh, more socioeconomically in a positive position than those of colour. They know that. And so what they're doing is they're looking at the situation and they're saying, how can we make which, which the play... Which are you referring to, How can we way? make the, the playing colour, field... Colour, the colour of Asian people or how we, Hispanic people or how black we make Americans? the playing field? Well, she's asking you a question. So I understood which, which, that they no, were talking about black people, Oh, Esther. so, OK, so which black... Oh, yeah. Black yeah, Nigerians right, who right. are uh, so white Americans or I'm, black Americans? No, but they're talking about specific but members the of there their community. There are many ways you can skin this cat. Because but I could that, talk about, I could wrong? talk about, I'm sorry, I could talk about black Americans that are of Nigerian and Ghanaian descent right. who actually out earn well. white Americans. Right. Right. My family would be getting reparations under we're the talking, scheme. We're, but talk, their, we're their talking about actually general, benefited from we're the talking about She's not going to answer the question, and the point she brings up is a very good point. She's not going to answer. She's just going to continue doing. I'm talking about the 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 descendants and the people of color. That's all she's going to do. About the general no, here, the aren't thing, we? That's what talking about the general. The I don't think I would have a claim, the... sadly. Why should we empower the government? I don't think I would have a claim. But there why? are a number of people who Explain do. Explain to me why the government should be empowered to, to take this on a case-by-case -case basis and skin this cat in as many ways as they want it and decide tear. who should be the beneficiary of this. It will, it will why do they have the right to do that? It will tear Western societies oh, apart. Oh, well, yeah. If I may just finish the one. If We need to get to a situation which Martin Luther King articulated brilliantly in the mid-60s, where people are judged on the content of their character Absolutely. rather than the pigmentation it of their skin. It isn't a level playing going, field. Going, that going is an to ideal a, that you doesn't exist, You ask for, exist, you ask for criteria. Well, as, as you rightly pointed out, white working-class people in this country mm. are some of the poorest demographics. How are they going to feel about richer descendants of black Africans getting reparations. But, but also, but, I've got... But, it's, but, it's absolutely but, but, toxic. Paula, Paula, let me just jump in. I mean, do you, you do I, notice I, that I haven't had the opportunity in the same way that the others have Paula, to, to I, I have to a wider point, generally, which is about this, this sort of yeah, constant drumbeat now to make people atone for the sins of centuries ago. Right. I think it is completely regressive to do this. We've surely got to move in the way society has moved. There isn't slavery, and, and, anything and, and, like the way there was hundreds society, of years ago. how has society moved in terms of that level playing field? How is it right that the slave owner mm. receives reparation, but the slaves don't? Well, this is the thing. And, how do you remedy it? Do you know how you remedy that? Do you know how you remedy that? But do you know how you remedy because that? Because people can read you your article. To actual but how slaves. do we rectify they don't that today when anymore. They're it not alive. only finished, the British I government don't... only finished paying that in 2015. Totally why is nobody uncomfortable on, about what, that? What, what, why is what, nobody what, what, uncomfortable okay, okay. Uh, about uh, the Marshall ask, Plan? What, what Nobody's you uncomfortable Sorry, about you're wealthy, that. You're wealthy, you're, you're well-educated, well wealthy lawyer. I'm what, lucky, what, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you're far I'm luckier an than anyone that's done that. By the way, that's, Rishi, that's what Rishi Sunak said. And I'm well, yeah, He's fortunately super rich. What right I'm not, I'm not super rich, but I am fortunate. But you're very fortunate for that. And you're certainly more fortunate than I did growing up. How, what how, right do you... How, how, sorry, what Esther, true? what are you true? talking about? What, 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 what do you know about me? What right do you know about my life? Don't talk over each other. Esther. Wait, 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 Esther. What right do you know about my life? As a privileged, wealthy, well-educated woman, what right do you have for reparations for something that you never experienced? I can't even claim that. But, no one can claim but that. But Esther, I have just said to you, I don't think I would have a claim. And there are many people who wouldn't oh, so have a claim. What, what about, what about claim. Claim. So, but that doesn't mean, I, because I don't have an opportunity, that I shouldn't stop others what, from what, having what, an what, opportunity. What about, what about you wouldn't black... have said that to a Native American May I person. Ask, what about... You wouldn't have said that Paula? to a Jewish yes, person. Let Matthew you wouldn't have said you wouldn't what, have what, said that to one of the Japanese. What about black Americans who are the descendants of slaves who are now billionaires? 
What about them? Well, would they be eligible for your reparations? It, it's not my reparations. Well, your argument... <laughs> let me, let me rephrase it. Your my, argument in favour of it's them. It's my conversation about people having the opportunity to. But do you think they should get it? Do I? They probably not. And who no. should, should pay? Oh, so it'd be means tested. It could uh, possibly be. Absolutely. And who should... So how many tests are you going to do? So if the person who was descendants from slaves became a millionaire, they don't have a right to it anymore. So now you have to look into already their socioeconomic status as well. So how many factors are you going to vary into this reparations operation that you want to do? And I'm, I keep saying I'm tired of people continuing to be victims. Get over yourself, work hard and get the things you need in life. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's easy to say, but that's what people need to do. All this is incentivizing is for people to just be lazy and complain and complain because they want handouts. Pay it. There are options. Should Mitch Rose be and it's pay about it? that discussion. And that's exactly what's happening at the moment. There's a discussion that's ongoing about how it's going to happen and how it yeah, will work. I don't agree with any In of the it. same way that yeah, you would have a discussion Paula, I don't about agree. positive discrimination. Paula, In the same clear, way you would Paula, have a discussion Paula, Paula, about Paula, Paula, levelling the playing field. Some stage, that's a discussion where someone can actually discuss something with you. As I keep saying, I'm just tired of all these victim Olympics that people want to play. Everyone's a victim. We need to get free handouts because we just don't want to work for the things we want to get in life. And that's all I see it as. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Comment down below. I'll try and reply to as many comments as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm a yink at that guy. And I am out.